So hopefully this is a short video, but um, after posting the previous videos where I was showing some colored vinyl and shining some light through uh, a couple of the albums, I had friends telling me that's really cool that vinyl looks that different when light shines through it. Um, and asked me to show some more. So I'm going to show some more. I'll try to make this uh, quick. But before I do this, I really need to talk about this Let's Active album, Cypress. This particular album was probably one of the first ones that I purchased where I thought it was black vinyl until I pulled it out of the sleeve and as I was putting it on the turntable some light uh, was shining behind it and I noticed it was actually translucent. It's actually kind of this cool amber, dark, uh, brown color. And I've got a Trip Shakespeare album like that, some uh, REM albums. There's a, there's a lot of albums out there like that, I think. But um, ever since then, I started wondering when I buy a record, what's it look like if I hold it up to the light? Um, so as I started buying colored vinyl, I was always doing that um, as well. And some of the ones that I've got are particularly interesting. This vinyl, it's kind of like that uh, Queex vinyl. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of that company where they were had this high fidelity uh, vinyl that was sounded great and all of that, better than black vinyl supposedly. Um, but that's kind of what started it for me, at least. Um, so let me show you a handful of those records. Um, this is going to be in no particular order, and I'm just going to put in a bunch of jump cuts as I'm grabbing these things. Um, the World Inferno Friendship Society. I don't really listen to this album a lot, I, I will admit, but it looks great when light shining from the front, and it's also very cool uh, when light shining from the back. I have a handful of albums like this Bear Romantic album. This one is a transparent or translucent and then has color swirled in the middle of it. So this one kind of looks cool both in front and behind. Um, Yahawa 13, I have a handful of albums like this that are half opaque and half translucent. I'll show you a bunch more. Um, this is one of them, looks very cool um, with light shining behind it. This is another one like that, uh, Dragon Turtle. Um, I actually really like this album quite a bit. Uh, same thing, half opaque, half translucent. Looks very cool from both um, sides. This was one of the albums that I showed in the previous video that got my friends to ask these questions. Um, this particular one, If These Trees Could Talk, um, Above the Earth, um, Below the Sky, um, looks really cool. If These Trees Could Talk would uh, do these uh, different colored vinyl ones, but this is the nicest one. And actually I've got um, some Bobby Beausoleil, for some reason, is in the back of this one. Um, I guess when I was photographing him, I slid it in there, but that's another one that I showed. I think it was the really dark one that shined blue behind. Um, this one's the one that's kind of more yellowish and um, uh, looks very cool. Some of the opaque parts turn transparent, or it seems to, um, when light's shining from behind. Uh, this album by True Widow, uh, Circumambulation, um, looks really cool from the front and uh, also looks very cool when you shine light through it. Uh, True Widow sounds great. Um, this one, Spot, I knew nothing about this. Um, I have friends every once in a while that'll point out, hey, did you see such and such by so and so? That's really cool color vinyl. Pfft, uh, sometimes I have no idea what it is. Uh, that's what Spot is. Uh, no idea. Picked it up. It was cheap. Somebody pointed it out to me. Um, looks nice from the front and cool with light shining behind it. Um, this Glaciers album, um, I believe this one was, I don't know if it's going to say on it. Um, it's an, out of 100, there's only 100 of this color pressed. Um, really nice um, album, but the vinyl's kind of a dark red and just this gorgeous red when you shine light through it. Um, very cool looking. Moon Jelly. Um, I think this is their debut, I'm not sure. Um, but it's another one of those that I might not have purchased if somebody hadn't pointed out, hey, look how cool that vinyl is. So I listened to one song online and I thought, hey, yeah, I kind of like that. Um, but it looks super cool. Uh, with light shining behind. This running album, Vaguely Ethic, um, is another one of these where it's part transparent and part opaque, but it's kind of this cool green splatter against the uh, transparent, which um, looks really nice, both from the front and from behind. Monster Movie, Everyone is a Ghost, um, another one that's kind of half and half, um, looks very cool from the front and from behind. Caliphone's new album, Stitches. Um, sometimes people ask me, you know, you're buying a lot of albums on color, um, do you actually like the music? And I, I never buy it, well, with the exception of one or two I've purchased and I thought, oh, I don't really like this at all. Uh, but generally, I, I, I don't buy it. If I don't like the music, that's just, the music comes first. Um, but I'm really happy when an album is this good. This is one of my favorite albums from this past year. Um, 
but also I didn't know it was going to be colored vinyl. I just pre-ordered it because I love Caliphone. Um, pulled the album out, looked really cool. Looked like it was basically opaque. I didn't um, hold it up to the light right away, but when I did, it's actually quite translucent and looks really nice. Aloha Home Acres. Um, this has got a great cover, nice little um, wood engraving front and back. Um, but it's another one of these that looks really dark, like it's not going to be very interesting, and you hold it up to the light, and it's actually quite gorgeous um, when light's shining through. This sound looks really cool, but both sides of the album actually look a little different, um, but it looks about the same when you shine light through it, um, but just looks really cool. I think this Giants album, Old Stories, I believe this has been released in lots of different versions. Um, the version I've got is kind of this grayish white with um, some red splatter in it, uh, but looks, again, pretty cool when light's shining behind it. I don't know which edition this one was, which pressing, and it doesn't say, I'm not sure which pressing this one was, but it's, uh, I believe it's been pressed lots of times. I think I showed this Medusa uh, Divine Malice um, in one of my previous videos because it's got a uh, foil stamp on one side. It's got this smoky translucent color to it. Uh, it just looks really cool. Uh, so it's a one-sided album, but really very cool looking. I've got a lot of Graveface records. This one's 61 out of 300. They're, I'm part of their club, so I'm always getting their uh, releases right away. Um, this is the club version. Um, it's got the uh, cut piece um, on the front, and it's uh, transparent with black. Uh, swirl kind of right in the middle. This uh, Sun Lux is brand spanking new. I just um, got this recently. It's uh, 71 out of 500. Um, can't wait to hear it, uh, but just arrived. Uh, one of the albums I showed before, uh, Black Moth Super Rainbow Eating Us. Um, I showed it in a previous video. Uh, this one's really cool. It's a two vinyl, foil stamped. Uh, it's an album that actually fits on one piece of vinyl, but they broke it up between two albums so they could um, have foil stamps on the B-sides of, of each album and the music on the A-side, I believe. Uh, here's another album that I just got, Gene Gene Symmetry. Um, I haven't even had a chance to listen to this one yet either, uh, but it looks very cool, <laughs> both from the front and behind. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm a long-time fan. I've, I've talked about Greyface Records so many times. This is 38 out of 250. Uh, Dream End, I can't say enough uh, great stuff about Ryan Greyface and what he does at Greyface Records and the bands that he's involved um, with both um, as a musician and um, for his label. But this one's really dark. It didn't look like it would be very interesting. Pull it out, shine light through it. Looks great. Um, listen to these guys online. You're going to like them. Or I, I like them a lot. Um, I guess I might end with this one. I've got so many more, but I want to keep this video short and I could show color vinyl forever. Um, but this is another one that somebody pointed out, The Grains. Um, which I didn't know anything about um, when I first uh, found the vinyl. But it's kind of like that, uh, if, the tree, if these trees could talk, um, it looks a lot like it. Um, a little different on both sides, shine light through it, um, and from either side it looks about the same, but uh, really cool uh, front and back. Um, again, I could go on and on and on talking about colored vinyl. Um, check these guys out, jump into Spotify, listen to them, see if you like them. If you like them, you know, pick up the vinyl because uh, there's a lot of cool bands uh, right there and a lot of very cool looking colors.